Ready? Good day everyone, my name is Da at Southwood On Motive and thank you so much for watching my video. Please give a thumbs up for my video and subscribe my channel, very appreciated. In this video, we're going to put back together an engine for this 1964 Buick LaSabre. Hope everyone enjoy watching this video. See the vehicle up on the hoist and Nick is working on right now to put it back together. So the engine's been cleaned, blocks, uh, cylinders have been glazed, uh, crank's been polished, camshaft is going back in, nicely oiled and uh, you can see that it's going through. We need the camshaft to turn really easy like that and we know that it's oiled and is in pretty good shape. Some of the main bearings in the block already in this being the center is the thrust you can see the thrust edges on here all the other ones are just non-flanged bearings so they just slide in and they made up with the notch on there so the next job would be to take out the uh, crank out the bag that's been polished blow it all out and uh, put some grease in put the crank in uh, before the rear main seal goes in and just make sure the crank turn quite easily and then we'll put the rear main seal in. What is the color again? This is called uh, Alpine? Alpine Green Alpine which Green. is the original color, original color. of this engine um, with black uh, being the, the accessories that go on the engine. So they had some interesting colors back then in 64 but uh, this one is, is Alpine Green so First Alpine Green engine, I put up with lots of Fords, lots of Chevys with orange and old Ford blue and black, but uh, it's first Alpine Green, so it's first time for everything. So Nick is he's a gentleman from England and he's been working on a lot of engine review. Can you uh, say a little bit about yourself? When I came to Canada, I got a job in a machine shop and uh, worked there for 21 years rebuilding. Um, Many, many, many different styles of engines, Europeans, Mercedes, Jags, uh, Chevy, Ford, the whole lot. And uh, it's a bit of a passion, but unfortunately these days there's not any money in rebuilding these old engines. But uh, fortunately, I get to play with them now and again. So uh, stay in touch, we'll uh, let you know when we should go along.
we got everything back together fluid in engine oil in we got some gas in the tank and uh, we've been priming the gas all the way to the fuel pump here and we installed the gate so we can see when the engine running see if we have more pressure so the moment we're waiting for is it's here it's here so <laughs> we're going to turn the engine over and see what she does after everything back together engine look very beautiful color okay I think it said two and a half, so it should be about there. We got engine running and uh, seat running great. They did a very good job for the back together and especially the, uh, the paint back to original. And the next step is we need to put the air filter housing back and uh, adjust a little bit on the mixture on the top. Put the hood back on, clean the vehicle and road test and we can show everyone on the inside of this vehicle. That's on the next video. That, it was a fun job and uh, look forward to the next one. Yes, our next project. Which one is it? Probably the 76 Mercury Mark. That'll be later. Yes. So, thank you again everyone for watching our video. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up on the video. See you on the next video. Thank you. Yeah, you say bye. <laughs>